Hi, I'm Rob and this is Gems of War. Now, I wasn't planning to do a video today, but I popped into the events while playing the game normally and I saw the Depth of Sin and I was playing that and I saw a really cool weapon in the shop and I just wanted to make sure people are aware of it. It's called the Eighth Sin. It's really cool. Pull an enemy and myself to the front, create six skulls and eight more if my life is higher. So if your life is higher, you're going to be creating 14 skulls. That is going to do a lot, a lot of damage. And you can protect yourself as well initially by putting yourself in second or third or fourth place. Because as soon as you cast this, you'll pull yourself to the front and then create all those skulls. So a really, really cool weapon. Only costs 410 gems. And you get all those extra assault sigils, chaos shards, troops and potions as well to help you through this um, faction of assault event. Like I say, this was an unplanned video, but whilst I'm here, I may as well show the team I'm using at the moment. Oh, I went for just a straightforward black manacles and three times frosty. I didn't put a ton of thought into it. I'm in shaman class, so everybody gets a 50% start. Uh, the cool thing about this team is we're going to be fighting a lot of red enemies in this um, faction assault. And ferocity deals double skull damage versus red enemies, reduces damage from skulls by 50%, and the best trait of all gives four to all skills on all Tauros allies when matching four or more gems. The spell is deal damage to an enemy and a random enemy boosted by my life, attack and armor. And if the enemy uses red mana, deal double damage. So when this guy is cast, we're going to be one-shotting one most of these um, enemies. And Black Manacles deals damage to all enemies with a 20% chance to devour one of them. And because we're in Shaman, we get everybody on a 50% start. And on the champion talents, I went for Ferocity, Counter-Attack, Root Trap, Blood and Glory, Armor of Light. And that is it, because I'm still working on this class to get it to 100. I might as well show a couple of games while I'm here then. Okay, let's buy up a couple of these things. And the game's locked up. No, what's going on? It got all stuck then. That was really weird. Well, I'll just buy the first tier for the minute. No, I won't. I might as well buy them all just to show that I meant it when getting the weapon and it's worth buying. Get a load more cool stuff at the same time. Really, really worth it. There it is. The eighth sin. Almost tempted to give it a whirl, but especially with uh, Ferocity. Actually, I'm going to give this a spin. I've decided randomly to give this a go. All right, so uh, let's edit the teams. And down to T. All right, let's have a look what the upgrades are first. Always worth looking at the upgrades, worth having a look, see if it's worth getting all these. Get on this one, you get extra armor bonus, magic, armor again, magic, enfeebling, eliminate two attack from the first enemy, gain four life, drain three mana, give all purple allies two mana. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. None of them are essential if you don't have high amount of legendary ingots it's not going to be an absolute deal breaker but um if you do have them it's certainly worth doing right we'll uh, include that i need trouble with this is now we're only like um on red <laughs> red and purple so just an experiment i'll just chuck it down into third place make sure we've got a plus two red now that'll do and we're still in shaman so that's all good but we're now hoping for red obviously if we don't get red or purple we're making um, life difficult for ourselves let's see what happens we've got an explosion but didn't get quite enough enough red there so and it's been mean to me on the uh red there i was hoping to get red there that's why i took those ones there but it did not work out so let's um, create these skulls. And now remember, with this guy here, doing double damage versus red enemies and creating all these skulls, which doesn't matter because we can get pulled to the front, we'll pull him to the front. Go. And that really didn't work out at all that time, but um, hey ho. <laughs> let's do the ferocities and wipe out a few more because now these guys are charged, they're just going to one shot them anyway. It's a good place for um, 
this uh, to be. That's the only thing with, um, obviously, the delves. When you pull yourself to the front, you stay there. So now we're going to actually be blocking those frosties on the red, which is a little bit of a pain, but it's not too bad at the same time because we're going to be um, enchanted anyway on these troops. They're going to get charged up really fast. Let's just cast this again just for the hell of it. And then on the next turn, we can cast those ferocities. Fish bash. Right, like I say, this was an unplanned video, so I'm just going to go straight to the end and finish this off and call the video a wrap. The video, you're a wrap. Such a bad joke. I don't know why I'd say that one. Terrible. All right, let's create some more skulls. My life is higher. Wow, how did that lot miss? That was astonishing. Let's get these things ready to rock and roll now. Fish brush. And again. Yeah, so I'm not saying this is the, the most effective team for this um, event, but it's just the one I was going with, and I just tried out that weapon just as an experiment. But the main point was to point out that this um, really cool weapon is here right now, and it's definitely worth picking up. There's a video if you liked it or enjoyed it or found it helpful or any of those things, then be cool if you liked and subscribed. But most of all, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.